What's up everyone, it's Sam from 64 Wheels, back in more diecasts, and today we have the next three 2023 Matchbox working rigs. So first off, we have the very exciting GM Bright Drop Zevo 600 electric delivery van in the FedEx delivery. So this will go great with the Matchbox action driver sets. This is a really cool release because it's also made with recycled zinc. It has the green card right here, so it's really easy to find on the pegs. Just an awesome release, really looking forward to opening that one. Next up, we have the MBX Road Grader, which is an excellent construction casting. It's an older casting but this one looks really realistic in a good construction orange over gray parts and lastly we have the man tgs m cab um, open loader truck which is cool because it has this extending arm and this little box that you can take on and off the truck so we have three really good castings today so let's get into it We have these three excellent Matchbox working rigs to unbox today. We're going to go ahead and get into it. And again, if you're looking for 2023 releases, because a few of these have been released a couple times before, um, you'll want to check for that 70 logo up here in the right hand corner as you look down the pegs, because those signify a new for 2023 release, or at least the 2023 releases, if the casting itself isn't new. So this is one that debuted around 2010, at least that's what it says on the chassis. This has been, has been released two or three times before in the working rigs line, one in a bright yellow but this is the first time we're getting it in like a darker construction um yellow orange like that safety orange with gray parts like that so this is a really cool release um, matchbox has done really well with the construction castings over the years and i mean currently they had last year they had the action driver set the construction zone they have a ton of other construction vehicles um, to play within the main lane main line and five packs so this is a good one to go along with those so this whole piece right here is metal um, this part is plastic like the cab is plastic but it has great details all around so the plastic insert shows like the little engine cover it has the exhaust um various like vents throughout it does actually look like it has decent tampos um it says matchbox construction it has like a little m with what appears to be almost a lego like construction guy hat on it which is kind of cool um there you see the mbx and it has road grader with the nice tampos um they are the like the screen printed or printed version so those don't look quite as crisp as the ones on the door in some of the other places but because they're big enough you don't see a lot of um, like pixelation in them so it fits okay for this application so we go around this body is super long it almost looks like a dragster uh, but it has these two or actually this one um, road grade like scooper or scraper right there so you drive this across the road and it basically grades the road um, to make it flat so it does have a moving part that moves back and forth um, there it has I don't actually know what these are can you move these I think these are just stops no they aren't stops I don't know they're just metal. They might just be exhaust or other parts. I don't actually know what part that is in the real, maybe just the steering, possibly. I don't know. I might have to Google some road graders and figure out what those are because those are kind of interesting. Uh, but as a casting, it's good. Like this part, I think, is that metal? So this whole under part right here is metal as well, um, which gives this, it actually gives it quite a bit of weight too. So um, I do like the scraper. It's simple plastic because it does move, but it has like the rivets on the end or the faux rivets. Um, it's got a lot of detail on the back too, which I appreciate because um, I just opened that Mario set up, that uh, like van that turns into a playset, And even on the back of the trees there, which you can see 360, um, they didn't have detailing. So it's cool that Matchbox added detailing even to the back and the front of the part. So I definitely appreciate that, but it's a pretty good size casting. I mean, here is the regular um, shell, what is this, the Ford, the cab over engine truck, the main line, so you can see how big it is um, compared to that. Like, it's quite a bit, quite a bit longer, so let's see. Yeah, it's almost, not quite double, but it's at least one and a half times size, a normal 164 scale uh, Matchbox main line, but it's cool. Ooh, and it rolls very nicely. I don't know if you can hear that that squeaking but a lot of the working rigs do have that squeak to them uh, because the axles are so big and usually they're going through um, a couple different materials so I that squeak has been around since the 2008 line but these aren't really meant to like roll fast like a grader doesn't go fast at all so you're playing you should be playing with it like this you know very slowly it's not racing around town um and if you don't play with it it displays quite well so this is a a very nice display piece too very cool road grader Whoop. okay we'll save the uh, fedex truck for last and then this one i'm going to read it because i can't remember what it's called the man tgs 
I, I call it MCAB, but maybe it is a MCAB. Um, I don't know if there's anywhere that it says it on here. Yeah, just the man is the manufacturer, like the, the make of the car. I don't know. I might have to look up how to um, pronounce that one, or people will, I'm sure, will correct me in the comments. So I have a couple different versions of this one. It's come out before. I can't remember if it's come out exactly in this delivery, but I feel like I do have a blue one somewhere. Um, but it's a really cool truck. This has so much detail on it, plastic and metal. So the cab right here is metal. It has very nice looking tampos on it. Those are traditional tampos. Those are not the inkjet style ones that are on the front of the truck, as you can tell. Um, like the headlights and you can see the print lines in the tampos. I hate these tampos. I wish Mattel would do away with them. They're total trash. But these traditional ones on the side that are more like ink stamped look great. They look good. Um, it, again, there's still a lot of detail on the front. The man, like the brand and then the logos there. It does have nice headlight. Um, like art, it's just those tampos are in like that inkjet printed. I, I don't like those at all. So um, even the sides of the bed here, like there is a orange dot right here, right here, um, just to signify like little marker lights, which is cool. And then you have um, the guards for the gas tank and then probably a battery or some of the other hydraulic areas. Um, you have that on both sides, just like the road grader. Ooh, there's like a little glue. What is that? Maybe a little piece of glue or something, a little plastic came right off. Um, it does have three axles, so it has six wheels. Really nice. These are like the steel, um, almost like semi-truck style wheels that Matchbox puts on a lot of the working uh, rigs, but I like them. So other, like, I mean, outside of the tampos on the front, everything looks good. There's more tampos back here. So then these fold down, the sides fold down, which is really nice um, because you're, it's easier to load stuff. So then this arm articulates and then it pulls out like this, boop, just like that. And then the arms click into place on this little box so that it actually can carry it without dropping. So it doesn't matter which way you load it. You can um, flip it upside down and load it that way just as long as you get the arms to click in. And then you can load it boop, or unload it on another truck. Like look how like it's, it extends pretty far. So um, I really like how many moving parts there are on this. There's a couple of like, little plastic leftovers, but they're fine, they clean off. And then you snap the sides back in, pretty high quality. Um, the, the plastic on the side is kind of thin, but it snaps into place well. And you can't really even see, I mean, there's not a ton of gap in there. So, the, I mean, they they did that really nice. Like the fitment is is pretty nice on this. So um, I'm gonna push this back in. Oh, it couldn't handle the yeet. Okay, let me put that back in, there it goes. But this looks good. Uh, this is a great release, very high quality, um, lots of metal and the plastic is nice on it. Um, this is metal back here, the like little bumperettes or the like the weight, I don't know what you call that, like this, not the scale. It's like the part that holds this um, back here that adds a little weight to it so the truck doesn't flip over, but it's cool. I like it. Um, I can't remember, I wish I could remember exactly what livery the one I had previously came in. But also, if you look, there is room for two blocks. So if you have more than one of these, you can kind of um, fill it up and, and put this in your action driver's town and, you know, go to the airport and do deliveries or the construction zone. This is a cool truck. I like it. It clicks solid. Boom, it's in there. Very nice release. Okay. All right. Let's open up this third one. So this is really hard to find. Um, I was very surprised to come across it. This is probably gonna get gobbled up. It's one of my most popular. Uh, I put a teaser picture of this on Instagram and it's by far my most popular post of the year. So I have a feeling this one is going to be very hard to uh, to find, especially when you're looking for them and they're easier to spot. Like if you're, you know, obviously if you're like looking down the pegs and see the green one, it's gonna be this one um, until another green one gets released at least. So. And the card art is pretty nice. The card art in all of them is nice, um, but this is a new one, so we'll take extra time to look at it. Uh, the truck looks good. It has that bright drop logo, um, the 70 logo up here. It has, again, that little moving part action. It's cool that this one is made of recycled zinc. That's a thing that Matchbox has been doing for a little bit, um, a year or two, with some of their like EV lines, especially like the five pack. They put the recycling, uh, recycled inner liner, or like the little tray was recycled material. So it's cool that this one is uh, is kind of green all around just because of the recycled zinc in it too. So there's the back of the card. There is the U US UPC code, whatever it is, the barcode. If you want to scan that, look for that yourself. 
there's the moving part so the back door opens. So let's go ahead and open this up. Now this is a casting in real life that I don't know too much about. Um, I do know it's part of GM's um, like EV delivery vehicles. I think they teamed up with FedEx to do this, but I think I also think other companies can buy it as well. Like, I don't know if it's like the um, Amazon Rivian van that's specifically Amazon or not. Um, if I find out before I can like edit this video, I'll try to put it on there too. But this is cool. It looks good. Oh, is there a little, what is that? A little dirty spot in my house. I don't know what that is. I have to clean that off. But um, the truck looks good. It has mirrors built into the glass, which is cool because as you can see there, they have like the mirror base and it goes, the arm extends up to the glass. So that's a way for them to put mirrors on a casting without actually putting it in the metal or like pushing the mirror out like, like a casting like this where it costs extra metal, like costs them extra metal to do it. So the plastic is much more affordable, but you know, the tampos are very clean. Again, these are not... These do not appear to be the printed ones. These appear to be like the old school stamped ones. Um, this one down here, I mean, it looks like the old school ones. But then when you move to the cab, you can see again, there are the printed version that look like the dot printer, like the pointillism style. Um, it's for the numbers, the no cash on board, the FedEx and the US DOT number. Um, so there you can see what a good tampo looks like and then what a trash tampo looks like because those look they don't really look good they're just a bunch of dots that have been like painted on there or put together at the same time to make a black or a gray font where these are actual like that's a purple stamp that's an orange stamp these look much better on the bed or on the uh what is it the box so um here we have up front it is the the inkjet printed tampos again they look horrible um it looks rainbowy because they're trying to make gray so they put all the different colors in the middle um, so when you get up close to it, you can tell it's just a rainbow mess. Um, even when you pull it back here, you can still see the colors. It's not true gray, just like these are not true gray. It's just a bunch of colors stamped together to kind of give you a gray look. Um, I'm not really on board for those tampos, but the headlights on these don't look bad back here. I, I don't think they did a terrible job with them. The orange doesn't look bad, and the FedEx looks a lot cleaner than some of the other ones. Again, like I was saying on the road grader, because the size is a lot bigger, the scale, like if that was the FedEx on just like a regular, um, you know, like on this, it would be so small that it, the pixelated, like the pixelation, you'd be able to tell. But because it's bigger, it, it's it's fairly clean. Um, that one's not terrible. There is a little bit of bleed over, but there's not much on it. So overall, the truck looks good, especially the the box. I think it looks excellent. This will look awesome. Parked in a little action driver set. So I'm um, here on the back. This door, like they got the little Bright Drop logo. The door looks like it has good tampos on it as well. Um, it doesn't look like the, the pointillism style. So this is a metal door. Um, you can kind of hear it. It was, oh, let's see, there you go. You can kind of hear it's metal on metal. So I can't even see, it's so deep in there. I don't know if I can get to see how, uh, I mean, it goes back pretty far. So let's see, um, let me see if I can get something to stick in there. So here's a screwdriver, so it goes, all the way back down in there so you can see how far it is definitely goes a solid two inches um so if you want to put like okay let's put this little pig in there and see if we can get it there you go ah oh, so you can see there there i mean it goes back you could put a lot of different things in there um it'd be cool if if matchbox would give us like a little fedex packages like little boxes or or pallets to put in there too that would have been nice since we got a really nice casting like this with the box that would have been cool if they did that maybe in the future we can hope for that but i do like that the door is green um the door surround itself is plastic the chassis is plastic um the box i think this is metal right yeah the box is actually metal so this is metal the door is metal the chassis is plastic um but everything else on this car is basically metal um the window is plastic obviously what else Plastic wheels, tires on all these, they don't come with any uh, metal, or not metal, rubber tires. But overall, this looks good. Let's roll it and see if it squeaks. Oh, nope. It's, oh man, it rolls very nicely too. Very cool. So other than like that little, like little bit of dirt or something I need to clean off of it, 
Um, it looks good. This is a nice release. The metal, there's lots of metal on this, a lot of room for play, a lot, like, this looks great. If you're collecting the whole FedEx line that Matchbox has had since, what, the, like, 90s or 2000s or even 80s, I don't know. They, I mean, they've had it for a long time. They've made these vehicles for quite a while, but this is a really nice one. Um, I think it looks modern. Everything looks good on it. I'm excited to have this one, so not a bad truck at all, so... Cool. Well, let me know which of these are your favorites or your favorite. Um, the Bright Drop, the little, um, what is it, the Man? I can't remember the name of this one. Man TGS M Cab. Um, I really like that one too. Um, but the Road Scraper, if you like uh, construction vehicles, this is pretty cool too. So let me know which one is your favorite in the comments. If you've been able to find these or have found any other ones that are even newer than these, because this is about as new as a vehicle I found in the past couple years um, after I've seen it online. So, um, yeah, let me know what you think of these in the comments. I really appreciate you watching. This is Sam, 64 Wheels. Like and subscribe as always. Uh, follow me on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, Langley Group, uh, Discord, and whatnot. All the links to my Matchbox working rigs, uh, Matchbox 5-packs, action driver sets will be in the um, comments or in the description. So if you want to watch more, um, be sure to check those out. I also unboxed the FedEx um, action driver set, which is pretty cool. So I will link that up as well, as well as the links to all my socials. So I really appreciate you watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. <laughs>